Alright, what's going on everybody? It's Tom here with Star With No Games. Now I'm here. Anyway, so, um, before I get in this video, I just want to say, um, I really don't have anything against someone taking steroids. That is their personal choice. As long as it does not affect my everyday life, I don't care what everybody does in my opinion, alright? But, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm really making it for the people that just got into fitness and um, they see these people that um, say, oh yeah, I, I eat like really low carb and you know, then you see them at the gym and they're having these incredible lifts. Now, you know, mind you, it could just be like maybe they had a cheat day or whatever, but majority of the time these people are ripped and they're full and you know that's like a red flag right there that they are not taking just whey protein and creatine they're taking some high grade pharmaceutical shit <coughs> so I just want to talk about why excuse, hold on. <coughs> excuse me I just want to talk about why these people, you know, lie about being fake and, you know, um, I really just want to, like, you know, I just want to get this out and have people know because, you know, for, for someone like me or people that have been working out for a while know that, okay, this guy or this person is obviously not taking natural supplements. He's this person is taking D ball or Anadrol or Winstrol or whatever, you know. Um so the reason these people lie about being natural is because they for amazingly the main reason is they don't want to lose their sponsorship. If they come out and say, you know, let's give an example, oh let's just say Joe Smith just give an example. Joe Smith says, oh yeah, I take this, I, I take, uh, let's say Optimal. Oh, I take Optimal Protein, and that's how I get all these gains. And then he comes out and says, actually, you know what? I don't really take any supplements at all. The only supplements I take is I take anabolic steroids. I take D-Ball and all that. That Optimal will drop him so fast, and he will lose the money they're giving him, probably free supplements, you know, because these guys still take protein powder and pre-workout and stuff like that on top of um, the steroids. So he would lose that, you know, if you going to conventions and, you know, like <clears throat> saying, oh, this guy takes it, so it must be good. That's, basi that's basically what the supplement, Trump, that's basically what the, sub the supplement company is trying to make you think is basically think, oh, if Joe Smith takes this and I take it, then I'll look like Joe Smith. That's basically what they want the people that may just start working out and, you know, like, what's the, f like, you know, when you start working out, maybe after, like, a month, you start thinking, well, maybe I'll start taking supplements. And, you know, that's when you start to look, oh, oh, like, oh, Optimal's got this thing and Joe Smith takes it. He said it's a great protein power and he said it makes him make all these kinds of gains and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, so you think, oh, okay, I'll just get that, and then I'll look like Joe Smith. But the sad truth is you will not look like Joe Smith for a couple of reasons. One is genetics, you know. Um, most of these people that uh, take steroids have really good genetics, so they're just adding more. They're just trying to make themselves beyond natural limits for getting shredded and uh, building muscle. So that's basically what steroids are going to do. They're basically going to bring you to that... <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're basically going to bring you to that next level. You're, you know, because, you know, I probably haven't, had, haven't hit it yet, but I'm probably getting close to where I can't build any more muscle. You know, you come to the point... Um, naturally where you can't build any more muscle but when you take steroids 
you go beyond that natural limit and that's what those people want to do they want to go beyond that natural limit um you know but you will not look like these people for one even if you took steroids you still don't look like these people because it's it comes down to genetics but you know anyway let's get back to the half the fake natty thing so you know we covered like why they say this you know why they lie about it you know and you know like i said the sad truth is um even as someone that does like research for like a half hour or whatever on the internet and know like you know what a person on steroids looks like compared to someone that's natural um they'll know right away when someone's lying and um, you know, or someone like me that's been working out for a while and just kind of did research, you know, I, I, I have thought about taking steroids, I won't lie, I have thought about it more than once, but the only reason I won't take steroids is because there's no reason for me to take steroids. For one, they're a lot of money. Number two, I don't want to take steroids if I was going to make my living about bodybuilding which would be great but I don't want to do that I like bodybuilding as a hobby it's what I like to do after work get a little pump on you know that's all I'm just a basic gym rat kind of guy I'm not looking to uh you know compete in bodybuilding shows you know it's just bodybuilding is just a that's another fair amount of time but yeah that's really the only way I would take steroids if I wanted to compete you know, and make bodybuilding a career. But, um, right, so I was saying before, these people lie, you know, for one, like we said, because they don't want to lose their sponsors. And another reason, um, these now I'm not saying who it is because I don't want to get my video taken down, but, you know, maybe later... I like a movie about that, but I really want to name names right now because I just don't want to do that. But um, another reason these people don't come out and say that they're on steroids is because of their following. They have people that um, will just go by every word they say and, you know, like, you know, I mean, I get it. I do have some fitness idols like, you know. Uh, my fitness idol is probably Jay Cutler. Obviously, he's not natural, but I don't care. He uh, was one of my... He's still one of my favorite all-time Mr. Olympias, and he will be forever. So he is one of my idols, and, you know, but there's people out there because, you know, I follow a couple of these people that are fake natties just because I want to, but if you read the comments, like if someone says, like, you know, oh, that guy's on steroids, his or her fanboys will come out and be like, oh no, he said he's not on steroids and blah, blah, blah. And you're just jealous because blah, blah, blah. You know, they just try to attack that person for, you know. Now, what bothers me is the people that um, say, oh yeah, I'm all natty, bro. I just kind of took word for word from someone that says that. If you know who I'm talking about, I'm not going to say it. Like I said, no names in this videos. <coughs> but, you know, someone, that guy that said that, he says it at the end of his Facebook thing, you know. He goes, all natty, bro. All natty. And, you know, he just, he made a video today on Facebook. If you follow him, you know who I'm talking about. Like I said... Not going to say who it is, but he says, oh yeah, I've been in a calorie deficit for five years. Five fucking years. That's a long, oh, excuse me, that's a long fucking cut. Jesus Christ. Your body can, no matter how genetically gifted your body is naturally, you will fuck up your metabolism being in a calorie deficit for five years. And this guy goes to the gym and lifts incredible weight. Incredible weight. And he just said in a video, oh yeah, I've been in a cut for five years. Five years. They say, you know, that being in a cut longer than like 
months at a time will fuck up your metabolism. But five years of being in a calorie deficit and he's still lifting insane weight in the gym. That's just a big red flag right there that that guy is taking some kind of hardcore shit, you know. And what's the sad part is, like I just said, someone will come on and say like, oh, he's on steroids or, you know. And then he'll get the, his fanboys be like, oh, he's not on steroids. You're just jealous because, you know, you can't go on a cut that long and you can't do this and blah, blah, blah. These people, like, are... They just don't want to hear it because they just don't want to accept the truth, you know? No one can have that kind of workout and be in that calorie deficit for that amount of time. It's just physically impossible. There's no way that that can happen. Trust me. I was on a cut for like four months and I fucked up my metabolism. My calories were too low. I was doing too much cardio on top of weight training, and I fucked up my metabolism. It's better now after eating more calories and revving it back up, you know, but for five years, I, if someone naturally, I just don't even want to think about what damage you would do to your metabolism after five years. It'd be insane. But, you know, I just want to really say, I kind of ranted this video a lot, but whatever. I just want to say, you know, to people that are just getting into fitness, because this is really what this video is about. People that are already into fitness should know this already. You know, you should be able to spot someone that is natural and someone that is uh, not natural. Uh, but for people that are new, don't take everything, take everything with a grain of salt with the fitness industry. Do your research, you know, and like I said, if someone says that they've been in a cut for five years and they're still full and veiny and they have insane lifts in the gym, they're on steroids. There's no way about it. There, you cannot be so genetically gifted that you can just do that, you know. So, you know, this video really was just to help people that are just starting out because, you know, like... I was in that boat too. I'd see people and, you know, I'd say, oh, okay. You know, if I work out like him and I eat like him, I'll look like him. I used to think that, you know, until I learned out, well, that's just not possible for a few reasons like I mentioned before. So I just want to get people, you know, that the fitness world is such, it's just a scam, you know. Um, so just watch out for what you see or not watch out, but... You know, take everything with a grain of salt, do your research, and really just train hard, eat right, get enough sleep. If you want to add a couple of supplements, I'd recommend maybe a pre-workout if you need a little boost in the gym. Um, creatine, beta alanine, and fish oil, and then maybe and then maybe a whey protein powder if you need to get depending on your protein needs for the day. That's all you really need, you know? And with supplements, you have to understand they you're just supplement you're just supplementing into something. You should already have a halfway decent diet and a decent training regimen, you know. So don't think supplements are gonna be like the magic pill that's gonna bring you to uh, Gainesville or Shredsville as I like to call it. Um, yeah, so I just thought, I just thought I'd make a quick little rant about fake natties and you know why they do this. I think it's really just a bad thing. I mean, you know, I do understand that, you know, these supplement companies want to get someone that looks crazy good. So then they'll say, they'll get Joe Smo to say, hey, I take this protein powder and I look like this. So if you take it, you'll look like this. That's basically what they're trying to make you think. Um, but, you know, you will never look like that, like I said just before for those couple of reasons I mentioned before. Anyway, guys, just thought I'd do like a little mini rant on fake natties. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that good shit. And I will see you in the next one. This has been Tom with Star With No Gains. And we're out. Peace.